P0420 or P0430 indicates that your catalyst system efficiency is below threshold near engine bank 1 or bank 2. This means that the catalytic converter is not functioning efficiently, and the vehicle is increasing the output of harmful pollutants. Under these circumstances, short distance driving is permitted, but your vehicle should be repaired as soon as possible. If you are getting a P0420 or the P0430 error code, this video is going to show you how to repair the 6 possible faulty car parts with 9 practical solutions to fix the error code at home. Catalytic Converter A catalytic converter is an exhaust emission control device that consists of a stainless steel shell, which encloses a ceramic honeycomb core. This provides the catalyst and changes harmful substances in a car's exhaust gas into less harmful ones like carbon dioxide and water vapor by means of chemical reactions. The catalytic converters are usually located in a box on the exhaust pipe under your car. A faulty catalytic converter causes dark polluted smoke which comes out from the exhaust pipes, generates excessive heat under the vehicle, and you may experience poor acceleration while driving. Here are two methods to fix the catalytic converter. Method 1. Use a catalytic converter cleaner. There are many different kinds of converter cleaner, normally they are all under $20. Reduce the fuel level in your car to about one-fourth of a tank. Simply pour the cleaner into the gas tank. The amount will depend on the type of cleaner you use. The fluid enters the fuel tank and mixes with the gasoline inside. They act on the buildup in the catalytic converter, breaking it down and therefore cleaning it. Then you can drive your car for 150 miles, run the engine at about 2,500 RPMs for 30 minutes to run the cleaner through. Method 2. Wash the catalytic converter. First, carefully remove the catalytic converter from your vehicle. Then, get a bucket, put some detergent soap in it, and foam it up. Or, put the catalytic converter into the solution, Soak it up for 10 hours to remove all the crud that's inside of it. You can see by looking inside the converter, there are all kinds of little honeycomb shapes. They clog up really easy and cleaning will often make them open and work again. Oxygen Sensor Oxygen sensors, also known as O2 sensors, help determine whether the air-fuel ratio of a combustion engine is rich or lean in real time. Oxygen sensors are located before and after the catalytic converter, and here are the sensor's locations. A faulty oxygen sensor may cause black smoke to come out from the exhaust. You can notice fuel efficiency loss, and smell rotten egg smell. Here are two methods to fix the oxygen sensor. Method 3. Modify the oxygen sensor. You can remove the oxygen sensor from the converter, and fix it by putting some extra space between the sensor and the converter. First, get a spark plug non-fowler, and then use a half-inch drill to refit it. By doing this, the spark plug non-fowler is now having enough space to fit into the oxygen sensor. Put them together and put them back on the catalytic converter. If you find refitting the component is too complicated, you can also get some parts like oxygen sensor extender or oxygen sensor socket to create that space. Method 4. Oxygen Sensor Replacement Carefully remove the oxygen sensor from the catalytic converter. Visually check the oxygen sensor's electrical connections, wire harness, and metal tabs for any damages. If damages are found, then replace the oxygen sensor. Spark Plug Spark plugs are part of the ignition system that supplies the spark that ignites the air-fuel mixture, creating the explosion that makes your engine produces power and makes your car move forward. Typically, spark plugs in four-cylinder engines are located on the engine's top or side in a row. Spark plugs in inline six-cylinder engines are usually located on the top or side of the engine head. Faulty spark plugs can result in an increase in exhaust emissions and poor acceleration while driving. If your spark plugs are completely dysfunctional, your car will not be able to start. Here is one method to fix the spark plug. Method 5. Adjust spark plugs. The spark plugs are located at the engine end of the wires under the plug covers that attach them. First, carefully remove the spark plug. Use a spark plug gapper to check the spacing of this spark plug. 
Normally the spacing should be between 0.024 to 0.071 inches. As you can see, the spacing of this spark plug is a bit low. Use the spark plug gabber to increase the spacing back to the normal range. But if you see there is obvious damage on the spark plug, just simply replace it with a new one. Fuel injectors. Fuel injectors are part of the engine's fuel delivery system that delivers precise gasoline or diesel amounts to each cylinder exactly when needed. They have an atomizing nozzle that distributes the petrol and diesel evenly for optimum combustion and efficiency. Most fuel injectors are at the head of the engine. They are mounted in the intake manifold so that they spray fuel directly at the intake valves. A faulty fuel injector can cause a short or uneven supply of fuel and result in a rough or violent idle. It would also cause engine vibration because the corresponding cylinder cannot be fired. You may find some white smoke coming out of the tailpipe and experience poor gas mileage. So here is one method to fix the fuel injectors. Method 6. Replace fuel injectors. Inspect the leaking fuel injectors on the fuel rail. Carefully remove the fuel injector. Make sure the new injector has new seals and never use the old seals over. When you change the fuel injectors, change them all as a set, otherwise the engine will run unevenly. In order to prevent leaking, get some gasoline, put it in a cup and then dip the new fuel injector into it. So the seals may get wet with gasoline and it will go in and won't leak. After all, just slide all the new fuel injectors in. Exhaust pipe. The entire exhaust system conveys burnt gases from the engine and includes one or more exhaust pipes. It is comprised of many pipes and pieces that work in conjunction to provide a way for exhaust gases to escape the engine under the vehicle. The exhaust pipes run along the undercarriage of the vehicle, eventually ending with the visible tailpipe. A faulty exhaust pipe causes a loud sound coming out from the exhaust system when you rev up the engine, generates a strong smell in the exhaust emissions, and you may experience poor acceleration while driving. Here are two methods to repair the exhaust pipe. Method 7. Paste the exhaust leaks. If you have a leak around the corner, get some exhaust putty to seal it up. First, get sandpaper and a wet wipe to clean the leaking area for better application. Stir the paste well to activate it. Apply and press the paste to seal the leaking area. After the application, don't start the engine because the positive pressure from the exhaust will blow out the paste. Let it cure for 2 to 24 hours, depending on the external temperature. The hotter it is, the quicker it will cure. That means you can use something like a hair dryer to heat it up and make it cure faster. Method 8. Wrap up the exhaust leaks. Exhaust pipes are made out of rolled steel, and there is a welded seam on them. Like this one, the seam will often rot a leak. First, get sandpaper and a wet wipe to clean the leaking area for better application. Get the heat wrap out and put it in the water for about 30 to 40 seconds to start the activation process. Then, remove it and squeeze out any excess water. Wrap it around the area and overlap it a couple of inches on each side. Repeat the process three or four times. Then squeeze it to make the resin go all through it. Start the car and let it run for 30 minutes so the heat cures it and makes a permanent fix. ECT sensor. The ECT sensor or the engine coolant temperature sensor is an engine management system sensor that is used to monitor the temperature of the engine's coolant. The primary ECT sensor is installed near the thermostat in the cylinder head or block or on the thermostat housing. A faulty ECT sensor can result in a rough idle. You may have trouble starting your car and find your engine is overheating. Here is one method to fix the ECT sensor. Method 9. Replace ECT sensor. Remove the ECT sensor from the engine. 
use a multimeter to proceed with a test on the ECT sensor. At an ambient temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit, the sensor resistance is between 2000 ohms to 3000 ohms. If you do not get a reading, this indicates that the ECT sensor is faulty and needs to be replaced. So here are nine practical solutions to the six possible faulty car parts for fixing the PO420 and the PO430 error code. To save more money on car expenses, claim a free engine code scanner by clicking the link here or at the description link below. You're also welcome to leave comments below, our mechanic professionals will answer them shortly. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching this video.